Welcome to Paraphrase, a web-based translation management system for enterprises. Paraphrase helps translation professionals to quickly produce high-quality subtitle translations using dynamic machine learning. This technology allows you to train the machine translation engine within our platform to learn your words and phrases over time. With Paraphrase, you can save more than 50% of your time on your subtitle translation efforts. Here's how to translate a subtitles file, also commonly known as an SRT file. First, you'll need to have your subtitles file in hand. If you already have your video published on YouTube, you can download an SRT file directly from your YouTube account. Then, skip to step number two in this video. If you don't already have an existing subtitles file, you'll need to create it from scratch. This is an example of what an English SRT file looks like. You'll need to come up with your script text and match it to the beginning and end time codes, as well as place the appropriate sequence number above each string of text. Once you have your SRT file, it's time to upload it to Paraphrase. When you're logged in, it's as easy as choosing your source language and target language, uploading the SRT file, clicking translate, and then inviting a bilingual colleague or translation professional to edit the first draft translation within Paraphrase. When your colleague or translation professional enters the software, they'll see that Paraphrase has organized the text into easy to digest segments. The color of each segment row indicates whether or not the translated segments need to be reviewed. The legend in the upper right hand corner of the interface will give you more detail about the quality of the translation. It's easiest to remember that anything that's not green needs to be reviewed. Keep in mind this is a necessary step for achieving high quality translations. Paraphrase is a productivity tool, not a replacement for human translation. Once you've reviewed and edited your translation segments, it's time to download the translated SRT file and upload it to your YouTube video. Hover over the gear icon next to the SRT file in Paraphrase and select Download Translation. Next, go to your YouTube video, click Subtitles slash CC, and then click Add New Subtitles or CC. Enter the name of the target language. So if you're uploading Czech subtitles, you would enter Czech and select it. The page will refresh. Then click Upload a File and follow the prompt to upload your translated SRT file. Please keep in mind that if you are hoping to also produce a translated voiceover file with Paraphrase, you cannot just download audio for the SRT file. This is because the synthetic voiceover generator will speak out the numbers in the time codes that exist in the text. You will need to create a special script following special guidelines. This will be addressed in another video. And don't forget, the more frequently you use Paraphrase to edit translations, the more time and money your organization will save in the long run. And that means that the more translations you perform over time, the less words and phrases you need to edit. This means that the more people who use Paraphrase at your organization, the faster your translation memory grows. So don't stop at SRT files. Use Paraphrase for any of 24 types of documents to save yourself time and money on translations. Now that you know how to translate subtitles files with Paraphrase, it's time to get started. Visit www.paraphrase.com slash view plans to get started. Or email us at info at if you have any questions.